UK has got a fantastic opportunity to be a, a world leader as an eco-innovation hub. We've got that foundation of academic and research excellence. We've got centuries of ingenuity, of engineering solutions. Policies need to be able to enable the kind of experimentation, local experimentation, um, small scale experimentation, um, that can then be scaled up and kind of be really effective both for the environment and for businesses. And uh, it's working, bringing together scientists, bringing together entrepreneurs, bringing together people who are passionate about the environment and you can then create these kind of new ideas. The technology is there. When we build a new building, we do a flagship facility, it's smart, it's connected, it's digital. Where I think that we need to work on is the older building stock. The majority of our buildings were built pre-1960. We have the largest stock of old buildings in Europe. We need the incentives, the regulations, the carrot, the stick, whatever it's going to take to get people to start using smart technology in older buildings. That's where the big benefit's going to come. As we see the automotive sector changing, cars are becoming increasingly complicated products that are as much electronics as they are what we used to think of as cars. So I think it's very important and there's a huge opportunity for policy to help the sector work out how they can best prepare and manufacture products to get the maximum return and recovery at the end of their life. key focus is really about driving productivity, competitiveness of the UK and also providing skills and jobs for the future and also at the same time saving our planet 